Unit 2, Lesson 4, addresses image insertion. It's sometimes very useful to supplement your base entity data with images that could be either an aerial photograph or a scanned map, such as a USGS map. In Exercise 1, you learn to insert an image using the Insert Image command in Map 3D. In Exercise 2, we insert a USGS image that's a scanned map using a second method which is the data connect utility and then in the third exercise you import an image from Google Earth. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to change the geo to the geospatial workspace to display the commands for image insertion. So let's go through that. We'll go and open the first drawing here and you'll notice that the workspace has been changed at the bottom here to tool-based geospatial right here and it used to be civil 3d but it could be task-based but we're on tool-based geospatial and if you were to go to the insert tab of the ribbon you have the image panel and the image command you could also type map insert on the drawing and the file that we're inserting for this first exercise is Ross Street Vancouver and if I click open the correlation source is a world file and a world file is a separate file in this case it's the TFW file that contains the insertion coordinates for this image so when you click OK the image is displayed in the drawing if we grip the image right click display order and send it back you can see how the image supplements the base AutoCAD entities now if you want to remove an image from a drawing, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Uh, you can go to image management which shows you the image in the drawing and you can erase the image here, you can zoom to the image. Or if you type XR on your command line, which is your XREF manager, external references, you can see how the image is being displayed here. And you can right click and detach the image, so a few ways of detaching an image. That's what we just covered right here. In lesson two, or in exercise two, we can insert a USGS image using the Data Connect utility. Just another way of doing this. Uh, the Data Connect utility allows you to perform a coordinate transformation. So we'll note that the drawing is set up to a NAD83 Imperial coordinate, and the image is actually set up to a NAD27 metric. And we'll see how that coordinate transformation occurs. So the Data Connect utility allows you to do the coordinate transformation. So we're going to open up the drawing for exercise two. And if we were to SHOWTS to show the tool space and under the settings tab right click on the drawing name and select edit drawing settings you can see here we have a NAD83 foot zone okay so to access the data connect utility for inserting images we want to make sure you have the correct workspace under the home tab of the ribbon if you click connect you can then add raster image or surface connection. We'll choose US, give this a name, call it USGS map. And then you can click the button here to select the file. And there's the TIFF file that comes with the curriculum. And then you can connect to that data source. So now the drawing here, you can it's indicating what the drawing units are. If we click edit coordinate systems, we can then click in this row and then click edit and we're going to go to UTM NAD 27 and this is zone 17 and the unit is meter and when I click OK and click OK I now have assigned the coordinate zone to that image and that's the coordinate zone that that image belongs to so when we now add to map, the software will add the image to the map and it will convert the image from its source coordinate zone, which is a NAD27 base zone, to the drawings, which is a NAD83. And 
the NAT 83 was imperial units and the NAT 27 was metric. So if we were to grip the image and display order and send it back, you will see how that image is now supplemented the drawing data here. And there's a few other things that you can do with the image. You can clip a frame around here and these are discussed in more detail in the actual exercise. But you'll note that if you were to change the coordinate system of the image now, it would re-display that image in this drawing and obviously no longer be coordinated with that base data. And the last exercise in Unit 3 allows you to insert a Google Earth image. And the idea here is that you need to be displayed to that current view in Google Earth. So we've provided a, um, a KMZ file for the, I'll just put this into this folder here, uh, with the curriculum. And that KMZ file is your Google Earth file. So we start the exercise by double clicking that KMZ file. That will launch Google Earth and display uh, the contents of that KMZ file which is basically raw street and we'll zoom right in here and you'll see raw street right there and I'll just stop it right there so now that's our current view and if we go back to civil 3d and if we were to open the third drawing we will now be able to insert a Google Earth image. So if we go to the Insert tab, and what I'm going to do actually is change my workspace back to the Civil 3D workspace, and that's where we'll have our command for inserting the Google Earth image. And under the Insert tab, we have Google Earth, and we're going to choose Google Earth image. And essentially, it's going to once again compare the coordinate systems in the drawing uh, with the coordinate system of Google Earth. So let's just try that again here. Google Earth image. And that should run through the functionality here. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be inserting the image right now. Let me just try that one more time. Google Earth. Insert Google Earth image. And that functionality doesn't appear to be working properly here, so I'm not quite sure what's happening with that. Um, yeah, so you need to start Google Earth. So we'll come back to Google Earth. We'll start. It might have to do with my desktop resolution uh, being not the minimum resolution for the capture here for this video, but that I believe is the issue. We'll just try to go through this and see if we can get this thing to work. So there's my image. I'm going to go to layers and turn everything off. I'm actually going to go to places and I have this KMZ file in here as well so I'll turn that off. Maybe that's affecting it. So let's now try that one more time here. Google Earth Google Earth image and the functionality doesn't appear to be working properly here so I uh, will leave it at that. Uh, try it on your system using the higher resolution and I believe you'll have uh, some better luck with that. So that concludes the discussion on the functionality for image insertion in Lesson 4 of Unit 2.